Welcome back, family and friends, to another episode of Independent Joe. And tonight, I am going through the uh, Advent, the twenty, uh, the twelve days before Christmas. Uh, you didn't see it, but a little while ago, I just started a video, and then I bumped this, and it fell to the ground, and luckily, it didn't break, because that would have been a shame. Uh, but anyways i was a little bit excited getting into it but i but i that's that's probably going to be in some type of blooper reel someday in the future but anyways this is day nine of the advent i'm not doing a live today today i'm just doing a regular video with the music i normally do and there will be no cuts to uh videos and stuff like that so if you like that sort of stuff uh to, i can only do that on lives Unless I do some editing and everybody should know by now, this is just the way I do my videos. I, 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 I don't cut any corners or anything like that or I don't speed it up and all that other stuff, which there's nothing, there's probably nothing better than somebody who edits their videos and doesn't ramble on like I'm doing now. So anyways, uh, just a couple of people to thank D'Angelo Griffin, really appreciate you and Seth B. I think I'm at like 979 or something on my way to 1k because you all really appreciate you all and i thank you um i had 979 a couple days ago then it dropped down to 977 and then seth b and d'angelo griffin came to the rescue and put me back at 979 so whew, catastrophe averted thank you both really appreciate you for taking this journey with me and again as always love you patrons thank you sorry i'm not doing it live today uh just i i during that time frame, I, I got I to gotta be doing something, so I apologize. I will resume that tomorrow. So let me just get into this. Of course, I'm going to do everything the same as I would on a live. Ooh, this one looks like it has a looser. Not, oh, okay, I don't have to cut today. So this one was loose. Good to go. Take that out of there. Pull this out. Just... Ooh, it's got some uh, some of that uh, stuff on there. All right, shake it up a little bit. And, uh, of course, I am doing the score system, which I normally do in my battles. So, there we go. Get every drop in there, because I don't know what's in here. And there might be, a, it might be something crazy that I never had before. And uh, I don't want that to happen, where I waste a drop. Because, you know, just like, uh, what is it, Maxwell? Good to the last drop. <laughs> That's coffee. That's a coffee joke for you. Let me spin it around. So yesterday and the day before, I got two points. I, I think uh, I might have got uh, three points yesterday, but um, it is what it is. Uh, I, I'm not sure if, if uh, it, it is MGP, because then I would actually be at four points. So... So two points is cool. <sighs> okay. <laughs> this is one of my favorite scents, aromas that I, I love. Um, kind of unmistakable for me. This one smells like a higher end bottle. I can't, I can't tell. Um, it almost smells like uh, some of my Parker's Heritage uh, bottles that I have, that aroma. So, no doubt in my mind, I'm going to say this is Kentucky whiskey. I'm not saying it's Parker's Heritage right now, but right now I am saying Heaven Hill. So, a Heaven Hill product. I just got to figure out the proof. And I know this, this ain't a rye. Uh, just smelling it from Heaven Hill, I could distinct their rye, so not a rye. And if I'm wrong, I'm gonna be so. That's gonna be crazy because I just I just know this aroma. I have, I have countless uh, Heaven Hill products. One of my they, that if they are not my favorite distillery, they're right there neck and neck. I, I don't think there's a. A better distillery that I like than Heaven Hill. I just love their products. This is a nice aroma. I wouldn't be surprised if, if and I don't know if they have any Parker's Heritage, but wow. Cheers, everybody. Again, cheers to my son, his little lady, 
and their newborn uh, baby Jordan. Love you guys. And uh, appreciate the subs. Appreciate uh, the patrons. Love you guys too. Cheers, everybody. Hmm. Well, that's different. I mean, it's not different, but it's um. There's so many products to go through on Heaven Hill. Because that it, it's light in flavor, um, it's definitely I, I wouldn't I wouldn't call this uh, Parker's Heritage, and not not to knock it because it still tastes good, and I I still believe that it's a Heaven Hill product, but I think it's one of their lower proof ones. There's a nice spice to it though; it's not bad. But I'm trying to go through all the Heaven Hill products, like what is it the old fits the uh, fighting cock <laughs> uh, but i think it's around that hundred proof mark i just got to figure out whether it's above or below that hundred proof mark henry mckenna and especially on this second drink it, it starts to drop in proof the spice is a little bit softening now it doesn't taste like larceny i don't believe this is a weeder This reminds me of um, a lot like uh, Heaven Hill uh, Seven Year. That's what it reminds me of in flavor. Get a little bit of that tanniky uh, barrel um, kind of. I won't say drying up the tongue, but it is. It it, it does uh, have some. I, I wouldn't even say youth. I would just say it just has some kind of. Man, I don't want to say drying effect, but it, it it changes the the texture of my my tongue. So I am not. I'm gonna call this around a hundred proof. I'm gonna say below a hundred though. I don't know what they have that's a below a hundred. I'm pretty sure. Well, lar the um, Larceny uh, Elijah Craig. I think they come in under a hundred proof. Uh, I'm not sure what fighting cock is. Is it? I think it might be around 90 proof or 100, somewhere around there. Yeah, see, even that third drink. I mean, really nice Heaven Hill product, and that's. I'm not getting away from that. Just doesn't taste like a weeder though. I'm gonna say it's a Heaven, the Heaven, Heaven Hill Seven Year. Heaven Hill seven year. It's a little different. I don't, but I don't believe it's that bottle and bond. So I'm going to, I'm not sure. So I'm going to say 95 just to be safe. So I could cover that 90 up to 90 to hundred. I don't believe it's over a hundred proof though. It's nice. It's really nice. Out on that third drink, it started getting away from uh, some of those tanniky notes yeah, uh, that those uh, those dry wood notes. Uh, some some of those peanut peanutty notes. Yeah, I'm sticking with this um, because that that proof really dropped. So I'm saying 95 to be on the safe side, plus or minus five. Yeah, I'm good with that. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so it's uh, Elijah Craig. I'm wrong on the Heaven Hill part, way off on, nah, not way off, but it's a Heaven Hill product. 12 year though, 47%. Dude, man, I didn't know they had, is that, a, they're all 12 years or is that, is this a, a pick or something? I'm, I'm curious on that. That's crazy though. I did pick up on that Heaven Hill though. So I got one point for Kentucky, one point for Proof. It is not a rye. I got one point for Heaven Hill. So there you go. I got four points this time. I probably had four points last week. But uh, 
It's not bad. Not bad. Very nice. Um, I got to find out whether or not uh, some of those uh, lighter proof expressions, because this is something that you'd want to just kick back, have a nice pour without it being too much. And if you're just having a conversation, you want to have heartburn and you want to be, you know, that with that spiky all the time proof, because this has a nice slight spice to it. Not overwhelming. Doesn't doesn't attack your uh, your palate very you know like crazy or spiking in certain spots it's just a really smooth really nice pour heaven hill all the way heaven hill all the way um yeah very nice nice texture to it uh does coat the mouth fairly well um but again, it does drop a little bit as you, you're talking and stuff, but it's still not bad. Um, I really like it, and I really appreciate you guys tuning in, watching these videos. Uh, it's really awesome, uh, the support that I get from you guys, and um, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow it will be live, but have a good morning, afternoon, good night, whatever time you're watching this. Really appreciate you all. Have a good one.